All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to. You know, we haven't tried the we haven't tried the engineer yet, so let's try that. Yeah, welcome back to to Dungeon Souls. They obviously haven't fixed the audio problem, because why would they? So let's do March Beauties. Wow, the NG is slow. Huh. It's not really what I was expecting them to do. But I guess it'll work. That's pretty intense, actually. I don't think I'm gonna like this class. Not for a while. I think we're gonna need a hell of a lot more passives before I, I use this guy. Now let's grab some movement speed because this is truly painful. Honestly, might just die here. And if that's the case, I'll live with it. Because this class needs some serious workage. Like, holy crap, I move like 0.5 slower than every other class. The Nightblade is fast. I like the idea of this, but it doesn't really feel like a whole lot of work went into him. Comparatively. I can't even summon shit. I can't even summon shit. What? Why not? Summon... Su summon my... Summon my things. I, I guess I summon them. And we get a... I mean, I do a ton of damage. I'll give it that. What is going on here? This is really weird. All right, we get the priest book. We're putting that point into movement speed, and it gives me a a point two bonus. Oh, geez, yeah, this is totally the guy from TF2. I actually really wish uh, they go for a little bit more of a, a uh, unique design, because this is uh, leaves bits to be desired. That nuke is kind of useful, and my damage can't can't be disagreed with either. But like, ooh, just moving here. It's like pulling teeth. But the teeth are punching you in the face constantly. I'm gonna get hit by a boulder here. There we go. We'll grab that. I got whatever that is. We'll fire it. I'm gonna die. That should be obvious. Okay, we've also got watch your feet. I guess we'll do that too. Okay, what's this? Common scepter, laser beam, does damage. Gotcha. It does look like as... Oh, wait, no, no, no. The boots gave me the movement speed. Whatever. Okay, so I've got March Beauties and Landmines. His third ability might be a sentry. I can already guarantee you it isn't. Well, we don't need this. And that's also useless. Walk faster on crit. Honestly, I think I'm just going to save my cash money. Yeah, if there was a sentry, count me in. Maybe. But there ain't no sentry. What? What? Oh, right. That's how I do it. Well, I can bomb him. Oh, those, those are the landmines. I see them. He's definitely interesting. I'll give him that. But I think he needs a lot more work than the other ones. Than, uh... Like, practically everybody else. Okay, I'll, gi I'll give it that- I'll give that to him. The landmine is stupid. Does it do percentage banus- but, uh, banuses? It kinda does. It does 200%. Yeah, so this guy is a he hefty nuker. It's just his abilities are kind of... Well, they leave bits to be desired. Mainly the moment where I run across a boss, I'm done for. Gonna just keep putting points into movement speed, so I have a hope of getting around here. Because I don't. I don't, and it's painful. And everything hurts. Just blow him up. Let's get out of here. Maybe if I had a weapon, it would be okay. Maybe if I had a lot of things, it would be okay. Gotta admit, though, that whole ring of explosions, super effective. But I probably would fare better with the, uh, yeah, Merlin will eat my wrench. Oh, he's going to just... He's just gonna grab me with his little magey hands and punch me in the face over and over again. Kind of a jerk, honestly. But, I mean... What else am I gonna do? Uh, let's see. I think that's where the skill 
comes into play when fighting bosses. I don't think this is one of those where that kite counts. Also, we are not going to be able to... We're not going to be able to laser beam things. It, it scales only with magic damage. Gotta give it, though. Give it to it, though. That... That landmine move is amazing. It definitely does kind of clear house real fast. I guess I'll go with the Warrior's Book. It's not super useful. Let's see. Let's drop that on him. Okay, I'll admit, the landmines are pretty stupid. Okay, so what does this do? Extra 10% per level. Uh, fair amount of damage per level. A lot more damage per level. No, we're gonna go March My Beauties. That's probably gonna be the best one. Do movement speed. Let's get out of here before the Redeemer murder murders me. There'll be a gold chest on this one. Did I kill? I didn't kill the owl yet. Okay, that's good. She's freaking out. Wait, did I? I broke the shield and now she's gone. Oh, but she dropped this. Some magic. Did she shit some magic dust for me? I have no idea. Yeah, so the reason why we want to put points into March My Pretties as opposed to landmines is because March My Pretties scales 20% per mine, um, but it also scales uh, extra mines. I think. I don't know, we'll find out. Let's keep- let's just keep rolling here. This'll sort itself eventually. I guess I'll get the stick. Yeah, we'll get the- we'll get the stick. Not like it really helps here. I thought it was dead long ago, but somehow I'm still pers persevering. It's because my abilities are stupid. And I've actually gotten enough basic stats that I can kind of maintain here. But yeah, as far as like actual class gameplay go or character gameplay that goes, bleh, I don't know. Let's see. One landmine drops a boss 30% of its health. <laughs> oh, that'd be ridiculous. I'd like that. Well. We'll just keep walloping them. Should probably put some points into my flat damage too. Because that's more or less going to make all of these stronger. Oh. This is a bad. This is a bad. Get that. I was really hoping these guys would run afoul of some of my landmines. That's oh, okay. I can. I mean, effectively, I'm a suicide bomber here. That's that's what we're encountering, it looks like. Because, yeah, I can't... I barely do damage with my regular attacks. This is sad. I just go up and clobber knot them until they're dead. That's how, that's how this works, I guess. Okay. Somebody in chat has the name of Cake Muffin Crew. That's adorable. I like that name. Oh, you know what we haven't found? Any scrolls. That sucks. I was hoping I'd be able to find some more scrolls here. Some, like, recipes, but it looks like I guess we only have a couple of options? Yeah, not going to. Okay. Uh, well... Okay, so, benefit is... Benefit is, all I have to do is blast him. Yeah, putting points into the drones. That uh, was a good idea, but it didn't work. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need a lot more passive. 
I mean, I could have had him, ish. If I'd been maybe a little bit more careful or whatever. I, I think we're going to have to wait for a little while, maybe a patch or two on the NG, and mainly we need more passives. Because, oh, that was torture just moving. Let's put some more points into movement speed increases for the time being. Um, Let's go back with the archer. Archer is really fast. I want to just farm a lot of money. Yeah, it did drop. Like, it, it wrecked him. I'll give him that. Like, the NG does damage. Also, ooh, is that a cursed chest? That it, that looks like a cursed chest. All right. So cursed chests, uh, cur cursed books a little interesting. Extra damage on spells, extra cooldown on damage dealing spells. I'm not really sure how that works with me. It's an interesting question. Spawns three rotating shield space. Is that a use item or whatever? I have no idea. Compass is best item. Compass is... Dang, worthless. Okay, so we get double dam... Oh, no, we don't get double damage. Wait, yeah, we do. We get double damage on our abilities, but... But they've got an incredibly increased cooldown, so... Uh, it's kind of a pretty hefty trade-off here. I don't know if... I don't know if it's worth it or not. I'll think about it. One way or another. This will be fine for the time being. I'll just... I'll just hang out. Hope for the best. You really should stop. Put the... Uh, one more than that. A little bit into defense. Maybe. I don't know if defense is the best thing to do. But yeah, so effectively this is going to make my, like, crazy nuke. Uh, yeah, that, that cooldown is going to be really painful to deal with. But, but between my two abilities... And the sheer amount of damage I'm going to do from these two, eh, it might be okay, especially because there's a couple of cooldown reduc uh, reductions that I can get along the way here. I'm feeling positive. Mainly because I actually have an attack that I can use. This character isn't just complete. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Let's grab that. Then we're going to put some more points into maybe defense. I don't know if def defense is the way to go. Hopefully I can get that. Yeah. So now we got the cannonball. So we do we do uh, explosive. Oh 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 oh! It's uh it's one of those. Okay. Now we got now we got healing. Okay. This is feeling a bit better. So is this a this is a double uh, damage dealing spell? So this this doubles my damage as well. That's awesome. And that doesn't have the increased cooldown for some reason. I wonder why. I guess it's considered kind of a support skill, but unless I'm suddenly doing double damage, there's why. Okay. So we're, we're in kind of a rough way, but I do a ton of damage here, and I can kind of lock him down with this move. Yeah, I was hoping I could go to the library there, but I think we'll be okay. We really need that strike through. If I can get strike through arrows, oh, we are going to be. The archer is female? Really? Didn't know. Didn't know at all. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna wait until he starts shooting at me a little bit more heavily. Or summons these two guys. I'm just gonna go hang out directly next to him and shoot him with spread shot. This is. This is weird, it's unorthodox, and it's probably gonna work out for me in the end. I love the fact that my arrows block shots. You know who- have we tried the thief yet? I don't know if we have. I gotta give that- that a go. I'm actually really looking forward to getting the archer up specifically, because with the, uh, with the weapon system and a couple other things, archer might actually be one of the strongest characters in the game. I don't know. Really depends. Uh, let's just put points into that. Let's check out what do we get this. Potion pouch. Hey, extra potions per that and sort of ice. Slow enemies on hit. Extra movement speed. Yeah. Okay, so I don't have any keys. We don't have any flat damage stacks here. But we do have arrow spam, which is nonsense with this, this book. My other... My other move is just kind of meaningless now. Well, it's not meaningless, necessarily, but still. Uh, it's... 
it's lost its luster in comparison. Yeah, if I can if I can get a flat damage bonus or two, oh, we are going to be unstoppable. It's just a matter of getting there. Really ranking this ranking the archer up a bunch is probably going to be the best. Okay. So let's see. So far it's super digging this this setup here. Yeah, because one of the one of the nicest part about parts about the archer is her um her projectiles are uh her projectiles uh destroy shots or block shots, I guess, technically. I don't know what that's gonna mean for um I don't know what that's gonna mean when it comes to Oh, what? Am I stuck on something? No, I might have been stuck in a corner. I have no idea. Um, I don't know what that's going to mean when it comes to to strike through. Like, will we be able to strike through projectiles and super destroy them? Because that that would be absurd. Okay, chance for attack to create fire. Bonus defense. Go bonus defense. Survivability is important. Let's see. Do we still have the Death Knight class in the game? Yes. I was playing earlier. She kicks ass. Nightblade is insane. Uh, seriously, go check out that run. I I beat the uh, quote unquote secret boss like looped once. And I got my ass handed to me, but it was time for me to go anyway. So I didn't mind too much. Uh, let's see. Plus, honestly, I kind of hate looping in this game. It's not bad, but it gets kind of boring because there's nothing interesting to run into. It's just like, how about every enemy? And it's just like, I, I guess. Keep doing flat damage here. Oh, alternatively, I kind of really want to deal with, really want to fight these guys. Okay, Redeemer. Yep. Gave me what I was looking for. We need to start healing real bad, though. And we're here. Okay, awesome. So the reason why we wanted to do that is because the um, champion enemies have a chance of dropping. Uh, champion enemies have a chance of dropping keys, and we did get a silver one, so that worked out. Didn't take too much damage, either. Let's see. Spoiled the unreleased video. Oh, yeah, I did. Sorry about that. Eh, yeah, whatever. You guys have fun with it. I've been trying to keep my content down to... less. Shorter, shorter footage, if possible. Thief's book's tempting. I don't remember what the other one does. I think it's accuracy, which is kind of useless to me. Okay. Let's just let's just switch to spread shot. Was this even an enemy group, or I have no idea. Yeah, the parry chance is tempting here. But I think this will be probably better in the long run. Okay, let's get the movement speed. But I wonder what the I wonder if there's a cap. Hard to say. Dang, that is effective. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty down with the uh, the double cooldown thing. Especially if I can get a couple of things that reduce it. That'll put us in a very solid position here. And also, it, it worked out for this. Okay, let's stay away from you, because you're dangerous and scary. Okay, sadly, I don't do a whole lot of damage to him. Gonna have to stay behind the arrow spots that I I leave behind here. At least the the skull comes off fairly quick, I think. Don't know. Never been able to understand this boss particularly well. Uh, like what the deal is with him. But then again, like there's not really a whole lot of lore behind any of these guys, so why would there be? It's just it's a slime. Why why not have a slime boss? I guess that's the point. Okay, we'll wait until he starts swirling again. Is his owl? There we go. Oh, thank you, Spreadshot, for saving me all of this trouble. Does he still have the skull? I can't tell you, honestly. Is he stunned? Why do I do like no damage to him? I'm really confused by this current setup. Am I just supposed to, like, barely be able to hit him here? I... whatever. Doesn't matter. <laughs> We've had easier fights 
uh, with other characters. I wonder if he's currently broken, but still. Doesn't really matter too much to me. It looks like some of these are good, though they might also be bad. I don't know. Hard to say. Alright, so we've got a sort of ice. You know what? Let's uh, do gameplay, auto item pickup, disabled. I think one of these is the broadsword. Sword of ice. Metal scrap, zombie tooth is good. Grab these. Is this? It's the broadsword. Extra bonus damage is tempting. Super tempting, but at the same time, I could very potentially get, um... I could very potentially run into a fair bit of trouble with the slower attack speed. I don't know, what do you guys think? Bonus damage? Probably not worth it. I feel like the attack speed's more, more necessary. People are saying worth it for doubling my damage. Alright, we're going. I guess it's not bad, especially because this synergizes really well with some of my other abilities, obviously. Yeah, it's worth it. I wish there were items that increase your attack speed in this game. I'm actually kind of surprised. The power-up system feels weirdly limited. Like, there's a lot of things that you would expect that would be in the game that aren't, and it's like, what? Okay, we definitely want the wizard's book. Cooldown reduction is amazing. Barbarian book, too. Or is that the point of the, the wizard's book, actually? It'd be really nice if we could actually see what my cooldowns were. Oh, wait. HP regen, lifesteal, poison chance, shock chance, burn, slow, stun, critical. <sighs> Nothing on cooldowns. That sucks. Yeah, I think that cooldown reduction actually has solved... has mitigated it. Okay. Yeah, cooldown reduction is attack speed. Yeah, that's a good point. It's just kind of surprisingly rare, actually. Oh, well. Doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's see. Grab this. Magic resistance. I think I'll just leave us off... Uh, auto item collection for the future. Maybe? I don't know. This at least lets me see what the stats are of the things I'm trying to go for. Hey, we can go into the the secret level. Do we need to? Don't know. Oh, we should find the shop before we do, though. Ooh, it's a distance away. We gotta book it. I hate it when it's a one out of one zone. Okay, we wanna grab this. And we're somehow slowed. Balls. Okay. I uh, can't fool them around corners. Don't steal my health, man. I got places to go. People, people to punch in the face. Bits. Okay. Spiky. Very expensive. Golden key. Just about. It. Might have to wait. Are you serious? So the second wizard's book is either extra or probably a one percent. What? So, getting a second wizard's book here is a... Oh, bad. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad, 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 Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Man, I didn't make a whole lot of money. I had more money with the... the NG. That sucked. Do I have the thief? I do have the thief. Let's see, 100% damage, 100% damage that does mixed damage, but that's still... Pretty okay. Invisible, untouchable for seconds. Oh, each attack lowers the duration by half a second. It sucks. Got the wizards, hellfire. Duplicate. Match damage, holy gate, regen. Necromancer. I'm just looking at things for a second. And yeah, Necromancer is a weird hybrid class. Personally, though. Give me the Nightblade any day.